but it is time that we bring the right people to this conversation. Yeah. And, and I think if the county's not going to help us out in, like, in putting it in there, then you know, we should look into council and the idea about going to condo or you know, the, the, the only thing on that to, to add in is like anything else, your, your limited resources. And what I mean by that is, is if we're going to spend another hundred, two hundred, half a million dollars on putting in another facility, keep in mind that, again, as I mentioned, city taxpayers pay county taxes, mm -hmm. which means there is there is a portion of approximately, a, that's a give, give or take, approximately a couple million dollars that city city residents pay to the county. Uh, again, I don't want to get into, uh, I'm not going to get, I don't know the exact breakdown, um, but I do know that there are, there's always these considerations and, and things that we have to look for to, to at least discuss, right? And there's, I mean, my, my mind, there's a way of, uh, of attempting to address this, but it's it's been an issue, but again, it, it probably needs more conversation for sure. It, it needs definitely more conversation because our crime rate is increasing every year. It's a it's a it's a data in a local agreement that there is one that exists. Uh, there's one that exists, and, and again, I can provide you as many that I have. I know that there's an interlocal agreement we have with, the, with them for the jail. We also have one for animal control services. Uh, we have that interlocal agreement we have with them. Um, we're we are we are trying to help, and, and, and actually, I think the chief and you guys have been helping with with animal control and DTJ. That's the, that's what the agreement reads. Um, there's also again on that end. There's fees that are associated. We don't charge fees for, to my knowledge, what we don't, for help uh, in DTJ. It's just on that, and we know we, we, we are required. We should be helping. So, Fred, you're saying that we help the county with the DTJ? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that's part of the uh, interlocal agreement. There's there's a couple more uh, the interlocal agreements, but those are uh, some that we currently have. So maybe when we take, uh, if we have to take our our prisoners or whatever to another place, maybe the county should pay for it. I mean, they're not taking them, maybe they can pay for them. Uh, it, it's, gonna, it's definitely a point of discussion, because I, I get to the county, you know, the county, it is expensive to run a jail, there's no doubt. It's an expensive, it's an expensive venture, so no buy, I, yeah, it's, it costs a lot of money, including, you know, the housing, the medical, the commissary, everything it takes to feed them, it's a, it's but in saying that that's that's part of the quite frankly that's that's part of what you pay as taxpayers and yeah. and and on our end um, I look at this as what I conveyed to the mayor I look at this as a basic service and what I'm what I'm getting there is it would be similar to the equivalent if we said hey we're not going to provide water to you. I would venture to say that most residents would say oh the heck you're not uh, you're, but that's what I'm getting at, is these services are basic services what the PD does 
what we do is providing water and wastewater. What the jail does is providing uh, basic you know, security services and keeping people in jail. Those are basic services that we should be providing. And I'm not suggesting that we're not providing any at all. I'm just saying that that is, is definitely a challenge. Fred, do you, the mayor, uh, chief, or Ram, do y'all know why the whole facility is not open, the, the it, jail? To my knowledge, there's 96 beds that are available. That's my understanding. I could be wrong. There's 96 beds that are available. Now, of those 96 beds, if you do the calculation, 96 multiplied times 30 beds times 30 days, multiply that times a year. What I'm getting at is those beds are available. The challenge sometimes is, okay, who's, where is that bed space being taken, right? Who's managing that? I get it. I understand that, that component. Um, and it very well could be that they're, they're just three old county inmates in there. It could be the case. But I, I, don't, I don't know. Not, and it's not my place to know, but, but the management of the jail, um, and making sure that we take take our I hate to use the word problem children. So so is it ninety six that jail only house ninety six or is only yeah, partially yeah. open to ninety six? Let me, let me help a little bit and and I would tell y'all these are valid questions and I, and I think we all want these answers and so we're speculating a lot of what is but let's let Peter come and tell us what these cases are. They they're at ninety six right now. My understanding is. To get more than that, it takes them to a whole nother level. They got to hire more people, more doctors, or what, whatever. But but they're kind of at a ceiling, and to go higher means a lot more investment. And at that that number, again, my understanding is they can't be chock full, so they've got to be like one five percent or whatever. So there's probably like ninety or eighty eight inmates, and 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 it is some of these inmates can't make bond, you know that they're sitting in there waiting for their 90 days to come up and then they'll, they'll be kicked out. But again, from, from Peter, the jail is full of people that are arrested in Frio County. And so how many of those are PD arrest? How many of those are SO arrest? How many of those are Texas Department of Corrections arrest? I mean, Texas Department of Highway? I can't give you that number, but he'll be able to do that. So what we need to convey to him is, is, is these things too. First of all, we can understand where he is from his position. But then this is the burden that, that it's putting on us. Is that is that this? We can't, you know, we can't jail our class B and class C misdemeanors to, to put the pressure on them. And then we get, you know, someone in a fist fight and they need to go to jail and they don't get taken. So what? What? Well, and we need to understand, you know, what it is. But it's we and, until we hear from him, we're just speculating on what the case is. But but anyway, he said yeah, I, he, he'd be more than happy to come answer your questions and explain what's happening in the jail. But we all, I think y'all, I'm, I'm hearing these things, I feel the same way. We, we've got to address these problems. Some of the issues, I can tell you that, that Brenda, you, the case you're talking about, the mental health thing is a whole nother ball of wax. Yeah. And it, it is a whole nother ball of wax. And it is a mess everywhere. And that's right. They, they don't take them at the jail. They go up to the state hospitals. They stay three days and then they're, they don't and that's the protocol. I think I think we need to bring in more than the Chief Salinas. I think we need to bring in his um, commissioners as well. And just, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll invite them all. We'll bring some. Um, we'll bring some. I'm sure. Personnel. I'm sure Chief Salinas knows what's what's occurring. Say that again. I'm sure he knows what's going on. He of does know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Um, uh, and we we need to at this point we need to go with the governing body. We need to hear from the council, which is the governing body of the city. Why don't want to hear from, you know, we want to hear from the governing, his governing body as well. So, I, I mean, is there something that we're missing that we should know, that we don't know? Because I it's making their know. job, it's making their job a lot harder and it's it's costing us. Um, so you're right, what if somebody were to commit a, a bigger crime and we're gonna be in the same situation? It doesn't look good for the community and it's not safe for the community bottom line. So the people at, at this point, we need to stop beating around the bush and bring it to the people that are that are to that should be in this conversation, <coughs> in this conversation once and for all. Well, I, I mean, I agree. We're not beating around the bush, but we're 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 looking to get answers. So we'll I will I will invite them all. That's a great idea. Invite them all. Yeah. Let's have a good round table and let's talk about it. How long has it been since the county has sat down with city council? About two years back when we do the round tables. Well, there's six years. 
I mean, it, it, it depends. There have been county and city people sit down together. The, the old engineer would come in quarterly and we'd sit down and talk about roads or maintenance things. So there's been, there's been dialogue. There's been, there's been dialogue. But anyway, y'all, we can keep going on this. It is an issue. I mean, it's not going away. We'll do that. I'll yeah. invite them all the time. And then, you know, know, maybe, well, well <laughs> maybe, maybe what, what we need to do is just do that. Maybe we just need to have a, an open meeting with the city and the county. It doesn't need to be at a necessarily a, a council meeting and just sit down and chat. Yeah. Bring the PD, the yeah. SO, council. And the I think the, the major issue amongst the whole community and probably all of Field County is going to be the jail. And I think that we should not only just invite the county, but it might be a good idea to even invite Dilly because they might be having the same problem. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and y'all, it's part of the equation. And if you, if you get too many people in the room, it may be a little bit harder to get where we're going. But the, the magistrates, the, the judges, that, that's all part of the equation. I mean, it's, it's complicated. It's complicated, but but we need to get some resolution. We need we need we need to provide the tools that he needs to to, to be effective. And if they're doing the arrest and they're not and there's no teeth, then we're back to square one. But but anyway, we're going around and around. We need to move on, but we, we will do that. We'll invite them, and either we'll invite them all to council, or we'll have a council county Special meeting meeting about the jail, and we'll invite all all you. We'll make it happen. All right, Chief, what else you got for you? I don't know if you're done or not, but thank you for yeah. Yeah. everything you've done, and thank you for, uh, I mean, I'm excited that you're excited that you're at how many officers now? 22. We're at 19 because we have one in the academy. Oh. Or, I'm sorry, 18 because we have one in the academy, and we're in the process of, well, Ms. Young is the, uh, we're in the process of getting the, the last guy hired. We actually did the physical and all that. So how much are you going to have total? We're, we will have 19. Plus the one in the academy after we hired. The 20. The and then 21 with you. No, I'm part of that 20. And then the new, the new budget will be an additional two. So those will be two. So they put us at 22. Okay, all right. We all, we're going we're gonna to move on. We're at the yeah, three hour and 20 minute mark. Oh, I'm counting the animal control. My bad. Oh. All right. Okay, next up is Park. Thank can you. Can I mention one more? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, animal control, Ethan, that is on the uh, state came and checked the kennels today to pass the, their state inspection. Awesome. Woo. Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah, good. Good news. Are we, are we at night capacity with the, with the kennels? Because I've been hearing complaints from uh, the peripheral apartments. We've had bad, 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 you know, situations with the dogs. Uh, we have cats, which I love the cats. Everything. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't pick up cats. But <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want them to pick up oh. cats. So they keep the snakes at bay. Oh. Uh, we're, we're right at field. So you can take my let them stay there. But the dogs, the dogs are attacking all the cats, and they've been calling animal control. And the guy just told them, well, ma'am, I can't do anything about it because I need to check with him. I need to check with him as far as the, the capacity, because there are several bees that are that are inoperable. Yeah. I have solutions to that dog problem. Okay, uh, Chief, real quick, uh, yes, before you head out, the chickens. Did, they, did he pick up the chicken or the dog? <laughs> the, only, the only reason why I'm saying this is I actually ran into someone in San Antonio, and they said they had been to Pearsall before. Yes. They say, I know you'll have a lot of chickens. Mm -hmm. Well, they have an oh. issue that if I would catch them or if I paid people oh. to catch them and yeah. sell them to me. <laughs> we actually did something yeah. a few years back that was five dollars a chicken. I don't know if I remember. I'll buy some. Yeah, we'll do it. 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 Okay, council, it is now nine. It is now nine twenty. Um, we are going to adjourn tomorrow night, and we'll pick up right here. And we're going This is going to be the tomorrow night's going to be the abbreviated. So study your package, have your questions ready, and we won't chase too many rabbits. But we'll get all your questions answered. With that, we are now adjourned till tomorrow at six o'clock. Thank you for coming. I will be here. I'll be on six.